Today, I am going to start a new episode for SEO-friendly blog development using October CMS. This is the first episode of October CMS documentation. So, first, I want to say something about this CMS. This is the fast, easy and secure CMS than WordPress. WordPress is popular also they have a problem in security, loading, maintain. But this CMS is easy to maintain, install as well as you can customize everything whereas you want. Let's see a small example in WordPress you could not change administration URL without an extra plugin. But in this CMS, you can change easily administration URL in the installation process. Let's, first thing first, now I am going to install this CMS on a local server, letter, I will show you how to host or how to install this CMS in normal cPanel or web server. Let's go on the home page of October CMS. There are two ways to install CMS one is an archive file and another from the command line. You can download the install file from this bottom. But want to download form setup menu. Go to docs and go to the setup menu also click the installation. Click the wizard installation. Click in the download the install archive file. Now go to your XAMPP folder. That's the setup file inside XAMPP, doc and your project folder. I created one folder which name is a blog. Test all file in inside project folder. Extract all files inside the project folder. Now make a database in XAMPP. First your XAMPP must be run. Create a new database. Go to the privilege. Click the user account. Give the name of the database. Choose the local host and give a password for the database user. Press the go bottom.
Now take a new tab of the browser and install CMS. Type localhost slash blog slash install.php and press the enter. Here blog is our project folder. Here is the requirement for install for example, your PHP database version must be above 7.0. After the all system check click agree and continue. Here database type, leave the default. MySQL host, local host. MySQL port, leave default. Database name, give your database name here is my database name is the blog. MySQL login give your database login name. MySQL password, your database password. Now go to the administrator. Give your first name, last name, email, and your website password. Go to the advanced section. Here you can change any administration URL. My recommended is please give different URL which cannot guesses from another person. Finally, press the continue bottom. Let's choose the template you can choose from scratch either theme. I chose the first option. Finally, it is completed. This is your backend or administration URL. It is your website URL. Here please do not forget to delete the install.php file from your project folder.
Now go to login. This is the first episode for the October CMS installation. In the next episode, I will show you how to create a template in October CMS.